hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing? Oh man, I'm doing great. Hopefully you guys are doing amazing because today we're going to be doing five different Minecraft starter houses and each starter house is going to have its own separate build style. Now the only thing that's going to be similar between all of them is we're keeping the dimensions relatively the same. We're going about a 7x7 seven seven boxed frame for it, adding a couple details along the way and each style has its own nice and awesome some build palette to it so let me know in the comment section which one was your favorite and what did i miss what build style should we do in an upcoming video but for right now let's get this started all right and here we go with our very first house now this is going to be more like a traditional house uh, I, I consider it maybe even a log cabin style house here we're going to go with some spruce on the outer border going with some dark oak stripped on the bottom as a little bit of a trim and in the center we're going with stripped spruce and regular spruce planks and stairs cross beams all the way around and of course this is going to be like i mentioned a seven by seven box frame we're going to add a porch and a uh, front and back porch to this one so here we go with the front porch so uh for this one very very simple just gave it a four block gap space from the front added a couple pillars here we're using uh these the, the traditional uh regular a-frame roof as well so just steps going straight up now this was a little bit hard to come by we are using the uh, dark prismarine as the middle section of the roof with the outer section being the dark oak but if you're really going completely starter the middle part you can replace it really with anything you can go with uh just spruce log you can go with spruce full blocks so really any full block would do on that middle section now here comes the back porch pretty much mirroring the front porch adding just a little bit of brick walls there with the unlit campfire which is my favorite little bit of overhang i love that chimney too we're using a bit of uh, brick and granite which i love and then a little bit of texturing along the way some flower boxes with berries and just a little bit it's a path there with dark oak just to uh, make that path stand out a little bit so the house is cool but also the surrounding border and terraforming even though when it's in a flat world it looks pretty good now here we go with the second build style here this is one of my personal favorites i need to build more in this style let me know if you guys are a fan of this style now this is my spanish style you can mix maybe a little bit of uh italian in this um block palette right here with the brick the granite the regular terracotta but uh i like this as my spanish style uh for the roof went with some dark oak slabs and then a little trim underneath with spruce we went with spruce stairs and slabs and a little trim of my favorite block in the game the spruce trap door now we also have a really cool big opening there uh, for our door we got some windows on the side i went with a back and front door uh, and I broke it up a little bit, gave it a little bit of a rustic look by adding walls of brick and granite, uh, upside down stairs, making it all uh, ruined like it looks like it's been around for a long time. Also, I love Spanish style, even Italian with uh, adding a little bit of bush, adding some vine walls, some uh, mossy walls, stuff like that. It just makes it stand out so much more, uh, especially if you're going with a simple box frame just to add that little bit of ivy around. Looks so cool. A little bit of an overhang. We got a little seat in the front and then I decided to add a little garden here to the side uh super starter worthy is even the brick you can probably get that amount of brick that's not a lot uh put a little bit of a of a patch there of potatoes and some berries uh also love the chimney here uh gave it a little bit of a look like we did over there in the other starter house but this time which is simple cobble uh also a little rose garden there in the front which is adding just to that detail but you can definitely see this is a little spanish hacienda somewhere uh and i would love to build more of this i think i'm gonna build another couple of these let me know if you guys want to see more spanish style coming up very very soon i think i might do a whole village in this style but this one very very cool here we go with building number three we went with my season two of my let's play inspiration by making an asian inspired starter house now this one super simple dark oak logs some white concrete in the middle bits some composters just to give it a little bit of detail underneath the white and then we went with the overhangs here uh, these overhangs are with just simple oak so some stairs facing upside down uh, ending with some slab edges and then we went with a simple um, just stone brick on the top in a little bit you're gonna see I'm gonna do some texturing adding some regular uh, stone to that stone brick just to break it up but the uh, the roof this was a little bit more complex so you got the little edges flaring out and then ending in a little point uh, this one is it takes a little while to perfect but once you get the idea you pretty much have it uh, over here I started with a big roof but I was like man this is a little bit too big I scaled it down a little bit and I added just a little bit of a dip down in the center bits just to add that that flare to it also hanging lights on the edges there with some of the granite walls and the lanterns 
I ended up having a little bit of a, of a front porch to that, but I'm gonna show you later on. We did expand that later because I wanted to give it even more texture. Now, for this one, we'll jump into the desert, baby. And in the desert, I went very simple with it. We just got smooth uh, sandstone, regular sandstone. And we got a nice little doorway, a two, two by two entrance. Uh, all of our windows are two by two, so we have a nice little awnings, little overhangs there with the campfire block and some of the trap door we, uh, on the side, just to give you a little bit of detail. We also have some fence gates to hold up that section there. The uh, the, the chimney came out pretty cool. We went with the brick and the uh, a little bit of the granite design. And over here, I wanted to have almost like a little bit of a, uh, of a crop area, but I gave it its uh, a little bit of a flare with some of the campfire blocks, some trap doors, some hanging bushes. Over here, we added a carrot patch. So that looks really, really awesome. I'm giving you that little bit of a detail. The path surrounding that area, just the walkable space from the front door to the patch. And then we add a little bit of uh, some berry bush details here. We added it to every window design. Uh, and if you notice most of the windows to add even more detail, we go in with a little bit of an upside down stair look to it uh, right underneath the windowsill. Now for this one, so cool. I love me some desert builds. I gotta get more into these. Let me know if you guys wanna see more desert builds coming up. But for a starter house, this did the trick. Look at that. We even had the little broken pieces that we did in the Spanish style. Just with some upside down stairs and some walls just nestled into that, uh, that build right there. And here we go with our fifth and final starter house. This is gonna be our Viking style starter house. Now this was so much fun to make. We went with a sod roof design so we pretty much have grass coarse dirt pods all up in there it went with a simple a-frame so it went all the way from ground level to the tippy top of that step pattern and this was so much fun you can actually do so much detail when it comes to these tiled roofs uh just because of all the grass the different uh bushes you can put here on the top now uh you can't go uh, with a viking style without having those traditional roof designs so that's so cool the little viking little pop-ups out there there on the top of the logs also uh when you add the sod roofs make sure you do add tall grass ferns tall ferns bushes you can even add flowers in there for me the only uh, bit of color i added was from the berry bush I added some berries there so we could get a little pop of color but not too much mostly you want some grass and ferns in there just to make it look cool even some dead bushes would look pretty awesome now to break it up a little bit more on the tippy top i added some trap doors and uh some slabs of dark oak so dark oak lining everything in the center just to cap it off we have ourselves a cool little fireplace chimney action do some cooking on the bottom now uh, last but not least, a little bit of path here with some gravel, some cobble, a little bit of a firewood patch here on the side, some bushes, some rocks everywhere, just to make everything just stand out. But you know what? Let's get down there and let's go check out the details. We did interior for every starter house. All right, how did you guys like that? That was so much fun, man, building all these starter houses up. Now, let's go to each individual house. Let me give you some inspiration of what it would look like inside. Everything's pretty starter worthy, well, except for that dark prismary, but you, you could change those for something else. But let me go ahead and just jump to the first one. Let's see what we got in here with this traditional log cabin. All right, as far as for the log cabin, let's go on the inside. Let me show you what we got in here. So simple, won't you come on in? We got a nice little bed here, here a double bed, with a nice little bed frame. We got all of our storage on the top. So we got barrels, chests, stone cutters, uh, we got grindstones. Here's our little cooking area on this side. Crafting bench, furnace, and we got a composter here with a little bush. Everything is looking so cool, so simple, but so awesome. But it's perfect for your starter needs. I think you got everything you need, except for, you know, uh, Dark Prism. Change that up for something else. And here we go with one of my personal favorites, the Spanish style house. Now, this is so awesome. Let's go on the inside. Let me show you what we got going. So as we come on here to the side, this is super cool because we got our front area here. We got a cooking station. We got barrels, uh, cauldrons. Here's a double furnace. We got a chest over here. We got a little seating area for breakfast. And then I made a little spiral kind of staircase a little well like an l it's not a spiral it's an l it's not even an l it's just the way up so once we get to the top super simple little loft area you can look down right here but since this was pretty tall we were able to do something like this so we got ourselves just a little bed with a uh just a barrel crafting bench and uh, a light <laughs> that's it it's pretty simple but very starter worthy and we got ourselves a way in and out from any direction but this rose garden look at that little uh, patch over here with some uh regular old uh, potatoes but what do you guys think i love this one 
And here we go with our Asian inspired starter house. Now this I did change a little bit, just a little bit here on the outside that we did on the time lapse. So we have uh, extra walkable space, a little two by two all the way around. So you can check this house out from any angle, just to give you a little bit more detail instead of just that front porch area, which is really, really cool. That roof though, that was a little complicated, but it was a lot of fun. Now let's go on the inside. Over here we got a very cool wall divider with our spruce trap door on the floor. We got a couple little bits of detail here. We can even make this almost like little escape routes here just go down uh get in the hole and just close it and we can have maybe a way out down there but nah i just made it it's just a cool little design uh but over here we got a little table on this side we have ourselves just our kitchen area with a barrel furnace cauldron upstairs i don't have a second floor but you could end up doing an extra bit here uh, i just wanted to give it almost like a a little bit of a lofty area look just a high ceiling but i wanted to keep these little rafters going uh on the other side of the wall divider just a simple chest and a bedroom here with some storage on the top with some barrels but i just love these little wall dividers there it makes it look very very cool and here we go with our desert starter house now this was so much fun to make we got ourselves a little carrot patch here on the side we have some berry bushes as almost like little flower boxes around the edges we gave it a little bit of life not your traditional desert build here we have some core starts some path blocks some puzzles some bush here on the side and everything is looking so cool i love this little overhang bit with the bushes uh and it just adds to that detail uh as you come on inside we have ourselves a little cooking area here on the side cauldron a barrel some furnace uh and then I decided to also have a wall divider here, but have it low. Since we do have a high ceiling here, I have some slabs and trap doors on the top here. And this is pretty much just the roof line right there, but I, I, I like having a high ceiling like this. Over here, we have a double bed. We have some looms here sideways, just to give you a nice little bed frame, some slabs on the top. And then over here are windows. They're made out of oak trap door, which is just pretty cool. I do like adding this. It looks really awesome though. Also from the outside, it looks like that. And then from the inside, it looks equally as good. So. What do you guys think of this desert starter house? This was awesome. And then last but not least, we have ourselves our Viking starter house. Now this was awesome. I would love to see this in a larger scale. Let me know if you guys wanna see something big in this style here. I would love to do them. Maybe a whole village in this style would be pretty cool. Maybe even in a taiga biome. Oh man, so awesome. Now, as we come on in, this has a dip down. Very small though, but it has a little dip down here. I'm using uh, this uh, almost like a furnace as the heating for this area, also the cooking, but it's, it's really nice. At the beginning, I had a campfire down here, but it was so close is so packed together decided just to make this into our furnace in the center with a wall going up to the top for the heating over here is a little tiny kitchen we have an armor stand we have a bunk bed over here with some barrels for storage on the side a little workstation here in the corner with a composter and bush here just to add a little bit more color down here to the bottom i love the dip down though that is so cool but that is it let me know which one was your favorite also let me know what did i miss what do you guys want to see other starter houses for and let me know if you want to see bigger versions of these builds that you see right here and if you want more in-depth block for block tutorials let me know down below if you want any of these block for block or if you want something in this specific style any one of these that you saw in a block for block tutorial but i'm out of here for now thank you so much for watching i'll catch you guys on the next minecraft video